In this lesson, we're going to be multiplying and dividing monomials. The first thing I need to do is identify a base. And in number one, I see that the base is k, because both these expressions have the letter k. So I'm going to start with a k. Now, I need to remember that when I multiply monomials with a common base, I simply add their exponents together. Well, I'm going to go ahead and put a plus sign up here so I don't forget. I don't see anything with this second k right here, so that means it's going to end up being to the first power. So now I've got 8 and 1, so that'll be k to the ninth. And that's my answer. I don't know what the value of k is, but that's okay, because the law of exponents allowed me to work with it. Let's look at number 2. Number 2, I look and I need to find a base. And I see that my base is going to be t. So it's going to be t. Now, if you notice, I'm multiplying. Multiplying means I simply add my exponents together. So 7 and 6, that'll give me 13. t to the 13th. All right, let's jump down to number 4. Number 4, I've actually got 2 with each one. I've got a constant, which are the numbers in front, 3 and 7. They're not the same. But because they don't have any exponents, I'm not going to be adding them together. I'm simply going to multiply those two together and get 21. Next, I'm going to look and I see I've got an e for both of these. So that means I can use my law of multiplying exponents. And so my answer will be e to the, well, there's three of them here and three of them there. So that'll be to the sixth because I just added those together. So 21 e to the sixth. Next, let's look at dividing exponents. So I'm going to move this down here. With division, I'm going to subtract. I'm going to subtract exponents. So here's an actual way to write this in expanded form because I think it helps me understand what's going on. So on top, I've got 5, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And on bottom, I've got 1, 2, 3. Now, what ends up happening is these can actually cross off. They can reduce to 1, reduce to 1, reduce to 1, which means on top, I'm left with 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So I'm left with 5 to the 6th power. Or, if you notice, if I would have simply taken my denominator minus my numerator, I would end up with 5 to the 6th power. So let's look here. Number 11, I don't see an exponent, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to write a 1. That'll just help me remember. So I'm going to take the top exponent, which is 8, minus the bottom exponent, which is 1, equals 7. 7 is not my answer. 7 is my exponent. So my answer is my base number stays the same, 3 to the 7th power. That's my answer, 3 to the 7th power. So what happens on a number like 14, where I've got whole numbers that aren't to powers, constants, and then I've got a variable? Well, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put that 1 so I don't forget. I'm simply going to look at this as 18 and 9. So I'm going to reduce both of those by 9. I'm going to end up with 2 over 1. 2 over 1. Now I'm going to take 5, the top, minus 1, the bottom. So it's going to be v to the 4th. Now notice this right here is 2 over 1. That's the same thing as 2. So I'm just simply going to have 2 v to the 4th. That's my answer for number 14. 2 v to the 4th.